Now, that's an age-old rivalry, right? Blondes versus brunettes. And the script says I'm supposed to pick brunettes, but I'm not taking sides on this one, Kayla. <laughs> well, I am not going there. I'm taking sides. I'm with Well, blondes. you can. You're a blonde. That's right. The competition we're talking about is a football game to support the Alzheimer's Association. And the Blondes co-captains are filling us in today. Carly Schneider and Jen Beck. Thanks for coming in, both of you. Your wife Thanks is for blonde, having us. So she is blonde. Well, she did have a period where she went <laughs> brunette for a while. I think we all have had those periods. <laughs> she went right. back. But uh, this, is this a, a serious rivalry? I mean, does it, is it serious or is it fun to raise money and awareness? Both. Okay, so Absolutely it is serious. There's some serious. It, there is serious. This year, it, there's an additional <laughs> rivalry. My husband and good friend took on to be the brunette's coach. So they um, are totally gunning for us blondes this year. Well, what's up? How come there's no brunette representation on this couch today? Just blondes. Is because, that because I she, set up the interview. She set up the interview, so we just brought in two blondes? So just, just right. some of the blondes. Right. Well, Man, you guys, you guys are... That's not true, but it, it might as well have been. Uh, but you don't have to have blonde hair or brunette hair to, no. to play in this game, right? No. What you if can you, be a redhead? Like red you can be a redhead, blue hair. A lot of girls kind of sporting the mermaid you pick your hair side? now, yeah. right? Yeah. You pick a side then? Yeah. So yeah. I want to be on the Absolutely. Blonde. They're free agents. So <laughs> where, <you> free agents? <laughs> where do they usually wind up? Or are they kind of evenly spread out? Uh, I think they're evenly spread out. I think so. Yeah. And you know, if you're if you're a blonde and you really want to play with the brunettes, you absolutely can. True. We're not right. we're not gonna tell you no. You just have no. to tie up your hair. It is. And, and it's better to be on our side, but you know, it's okay if I you want to go. We do that have way. a winning record, uh, two well, and zero right now. So. That's right. There's a lot of talk is... coming off this couch over there. A lot of chirping. A lot of chirping. Chirp. Um, because this is the third year. This is the third blondes year. Blondes have won the last two. Correct. Well, that's why that's why the blondes are here because we like winners. Give us a little history on this. How this all came about. So it started in 2005, right, yep. in Washington, D.C. Um, a lady that I think had a family member mm -hmm. with Alzheimer's and dementia and wanted to raise awareness and funds and make a difference. So it kind of has sprung in Washington, D.C. and has spread through the United States. So. Now, is it too late for players to join in? Are you just looking for people to come watch the game at this point, supporters of the organization? Where are we at? Oh, it, it's kind of all of it. We've been practicing, so um, we put together plays and we're um, building that camaraderie among, around our teams and uh, maybe a little bit of uh, fights between blondes and brunettes. Mm -hmm. So you're a little late on that, but we certainly welcome people to come and, and hang out the day of the event and watch. And we're, having, we're having a lot of fun with this. It's a very fun event, mm -hmm. but it's for a serious cause. It's, right. it's for Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's Association. Yeah. Um, how, how did this come about? And, and I guess, what are your connections to Alzheimer's? So I actually, my grandmother is living with Alzheimer's right now, so she's my number one reason. Um, but I'm also a community nurse here in Omaha, and I work at House of Hope. And so I work with Alzheimer's and dementia every day of the week. And so I get to work with not only the residents, but with the families and other communities and organizations here in Omaha. So it's a big part of my life. Carly, um, um I want to ask you about, because you work with it every day. Yeah. Um, what have you seen? What is so terrible about this disease? Um, I think one of the hardest things is that it's happening younger and younger. Mm -hmm. um, normally it's, they kind of say 65 and older is mm -hmm. kind of the, where it's predominant. Um, but the hardest thing to see is, you know, I hear from families, it's hard when they start to forget who their loved ones are. Mm -hmm. Um, they start to not be able to maybe walk or might not be mm -hmm. able to feed themselves at some point or relay what they would like to say. Um, so it's just overall, it's a very difficult disease mm -hmm. to deal with. But the way that I look at it is they're still the person there. Mm -hmm. um, you just got to be there with them and love them and you go with every different second as it comes and uh, you know you just got to enjoy them and have give them the best quality of life that they can. And it's difficult for everybody I mean not just the patient but the caregivers as well. The caregivers it's really hard on them and that's the other thing um, why we do a women's flag football because two-thirds of women are the actual primary mm. caregiver of their mom or dad or husband um, that deal with Alzheimer's. So. Well and I love that too it's women playing against women to support a disease that affects primarily women. Right. Of course it affects both mm -hmm. genders, but right. I like that spirit of girl power behind it and yep. that there's a reason for that. Exactly. Um, where will the funds raised go and how are you raising the money? Yeah, so all of our players are raising funds to uh, participate. We're asking everybody to raise about $500 to participate in the game. Um, you know, some of us are, are above that, some of us are a little bit below that, but you know, it's it's fundraising with um, your family and friends, it's asking, you know, your corporations or whatever mm -hmm. to contribute to that. And what we're doing with that money is, uh, we're giving it back to the Alzheimer's Association and um, 
they use that money for care and support for people who are here. Uh, you can reach out to the Alzheimer's Association at any time and you can say, hey, I need some help. What do I do next? Uh, help me figure out what's going to happen with my loved one at this point. And so the Alzheimer's Association here is really supportive of our community and we're giving the funds back to them uh, for that. It's Blondes versus Brunettes, Omaha for the Alzheimer's Association. And do you have a fair amount of players for each team? Are we well balanced? I feel like I'm I got to be the official here to make sure the yeah. brunettes I think, I think we are. are well taken care of. I think of. we are. Okay. It's going to actually be a really good game this year. Yeah, okay. and I hear they've got a, an impressive coach. So good luck to the brunettes. <laughs> Come watch <laughs> April 28th, 7 or 9 at Ralston High School. Tickets just 10 bucks to support a great cause and to support Team Blondes or Team Brunettes. Uh, ALZ.org slash Nebraska if you're looking for more information. We'll also link you back from our yeah, website. Yeah, at the very least, it's next weekend. Just show up and watch this hey, thing. it's National High Five Day. Give it up for the brunettes. <laughs> right. Thanks, guys. Woo! I is. feel like we got to high five the brunette, yes. too. There we Thank go. You. Can I get some love? All right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Good luck with the event.